Good morning, family. I'm not going to keep you long. I just wanted to share with you what fell into my spirit so strong this morning while I was walking the floor praying. As I was walking the floor praying, I, it fell into my spirit strongly and I began to pray. And I heard myself praying, hallelujah, for 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 people on YouTube clicking videos of prophecies, of prophetic words. And, and the Holy Spirit was saying, be careful when you seek a word. When you seek a word, be careful of the table that you are you're you're eating this food from. Because you gotta remember this this word is the word of God is food. God often referred to it as bread. Hallelujah. He said, I am the living bread sent down. He said, Man shall not live by every by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. He said, For now, up until this point, you was babes and not able to receive the meat of the word. So therefore you had the milk. So God often refers to the word as as food, as substance for our spirits. So that's what came to me. The Lord was saying, be careful of the table that you sit at and these videos that you're clicking on, seeking a word. The Lord was specifically saying to people, there are people on YouTube that is searching out prophetic words. You're just clicking on every piece of prophetic word and you're okay in it. You're like, yes, this is of the Lord. Yes, this is of the Lord. Yes, this speaks to me. But the Lord was saying to me and I heard me praying this specifically. The Lord was saying be careful of people using prophetic words to pray on your emotions, pray on your emotions. They're prophesying things that, oh, oh, people are speaking falsely on your name. Uh, the Lord says this, oh, uh, oh, you lost a loved one. And the Lord says this, oh, uh, you're going through this and you lost your money. The Lord is going to bring you money. And they're saying all these things. The Lord was saying they are, they are praying on your emotions. It's, it, it is words based on what the average person goes through on a daily basis. We've all lost somebody. We've all had somebody to speak falsely on our name. Be careful of words of divinations, words to sow discord. Be careful of words uh, uh, of prophecies. The Lord said that has no substance that does not come from him. He says, be careful seeking a word. He said, because these are what the Lord call prophet scammers. Prophet scammers, prophet scammers that say the Lord said this and say that the Lord said that to get your money. When the Lord did not say this, the Lord says to warn you to be careful of prophet scammers on YouTube. You cannot click every video on YouTube because it says prophetic, prophetic word. The Lord says everyone that says Lord, Lord, Lord will enter into the kingdom of God. And with that, I want us to go to the word of God to see just how important this is to the Lord, because there are spirits of divination that do indeed prophesy. Because I know some of you might be listening to this and saying, oh, but the people that I say, the stuff they be saying is true. It comes true. I want to show you there was demons that prophesied in the Bible and the things they were saying was also true. The Lord is giving this warning for a reason. Be careful of spirits of divination that is prophesying to you in the name of the Lord, because God God has not said all those things. God is saying, try the spirit by the spirit and see if these things be so. God is saying, if it come of me, it will come to pass. If God said it, it's going to come to pass. He will confirm his word. He says out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let his words be established. Go back it up. If God said it and it's coming to the Lord, he's going to confirm it to you. Let's go to the word. Acts 16 and 16. And it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which bought her masters much gain by soothsaying. And it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which bought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servant of the Most High God, which show unto us the way of salvation. There you see a demon speaking the truth. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, not the lady to the spirit. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. And when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace 
unto the rulers. Matthew chapter 8. And when he was come to the other side into the country of the Gagesness, I'm sorry, there met him two possessed with devils coming out of the tombs exceeding fierce so that no man might pass by that way. And behold, they cried out saying, what have we to do with you, Jesus? You son of God, are you come here to torment us before the time? Again, you see demons a of alert. They're able to identify who G that Jesus is Jesus and that he a B has power to cast them out and torment them if he so choose to. So demons can give you some prophetic word and that not be come from God, even though it's quote unquote seems to be true. We see this again in the book of Luke chapter four. And in the synagogue, there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil and cried out with a loud voice saying, let us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Are you come to destroy us? I know you who, who you are, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him saying, hold your peace and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him and hurt him not. So do once again, you see that this demon told Jesus, I know exactly who you are, that you are the son of God. You know, I, I know your name. You are Jesus of Nazareth. Again, that was all true information, but from the mouth of an unclean spirit. Therefore, we have to be careful when receiving these words. This was the, this is what God strongly put in my heart. He said to me, you have to confirm this word by the blood. Speak the blood over that word. Uh, speak the word of God into that word. Do it line up with the word of God. It's, it, go to the Father. He says, first of all, go directly to God. When you want to receive a word, get it directly from the Father. Then speak the word of God into that situation, whatever it is that is bothering you so much that you seek a word. Speak the word of God into that situation plead the blood of Jesus over everybody concerning that situation and let God establish his word out of the mouth of two or three witnesses and stop clicking these videos on YouTube just because they say prophetic word if it does not line up with the word of God be very careful because the spirit of divination is big on YouTube the spirit of witchcraft is big on YouTube and the word of God tells us this is for gain they make lots of money scamming people in the spirit people that are the bible calls babes in christ you're just taking a word and believing it because they name the name god or jesus sometimes they don't even say jesus they just say god said god said so into bitcoin what is god gonna get out of you investing in bitcoin god says buy gold you have to be careful god is gonna god is gonna stop the mouth of every co-worker that speaks against you you got to ask yourself, does that, is that, that line up with the word of God? God says, pray for those who despitefully use you and persecute you. You, you, you just got to try the spirit by the spirit and see if these things be so. I wanted to share this today because God put this so heavily in my spirit. Before I end this video, I want to double back on one thing that the Lord said that in the beginning of this video that was very important. Be careful of people prophesying to you based upon your emotions, taking advantage of your emotions, taking advantage of the fact that you lost a loved one. There are prophesying things that would that would sound reasonable to anyone grieving. Be careful of people taking advantage of, uh, of your financial situation because we all have money situations. We all need money or, or, or we can use a little bit more. Uh, be careful of people that are taking advantage of your personal relationships. Somebody said this about you somebody's betraying you somebody's giving you the evil eye they doing all these things to you to to prey on your emotions of things that we are just going through these are everyday uh common occurrences hallelujah so again i just wanted to say be very careful god loves you man i love you too i pray this video bless somebody uh in jesus name amen